Hey, I have a few more questions to answer from people who either come into my store or when I say on video that it's small, they ask me questions also, even though they don't believe it because it really looks big when I'm taking video. I don't know why I'm not even doing anything to make that happen. <laughs> I didn't even think you could because it is tiny. So what I wanted to do for you is answer the most common questions again because they're a little different now. And that is sunshine in the background. You know it's our bird. She didn't come yesterday. Yesterday she didn't want to be here so much. Maybe I can, I'd like to show her to you on my hand or my shoulder, but not at the moment. Okay, so number one question now is how did you get the thought process, and this is in so many words, to fit everything in this place? But I can give you some comments just from the top of my head. What's the matter, sunshine? So the comments would be, well, first, yesterday it was very cute. There was um, a family in here that didn't speak English. One of them did, but the other ones didn't. And she was saying without even saying no she was saying it in spanish or um another language i'm not quite sure um but i could tell by her hands that she was saying it was tiny and um, it's kind of like when you see it from outside it looks like it's going to be tiny but then you don't expect that many things to be in here so how did I get this set up? Well, I had to go at it, I think, three times. Yes, two in the beginning, so or three in the beginning. So I started setting up this place ahead of time, right? So first I had it one way, then I had it another way. And there are so many things you have to think about when it's uh, your business. And I finally got it so that all the heights were good on both sides. Now, I did not get one part right and I'm still working on it. No one has said that, but I, I know. <laughs> um, but I did manage to fit a lot of things into a small space. And it was basically, first I got a picture in my head, then I drew it out on paper, and then I, my, myself and my husband set up the shop and after having it like that overnight, because I did leave and come back so that I can see it, I decided to wait. So then I came back and changed the whole thing. Now I know it's a tiny shop, but as far as racks, I'm gonna say there are at least, at least 10 and then I have this big rack piece of furniture. And then we have my counter and then numerous other things. Oh, I have one, two, three, four shoe racks. Oh boy. First I thought that I was gonna have this whole wall to put all these beautiful pictures up on to sell. Yeah, that didn't happen. It was shoe racks for a while. Now, half of the shoe racks and the other half is a rack. So that didn't happen. So sometimes your best plans, or the ones you think are the best plans, are not. So, got it together. And then I loved everything except one thing, the way we put up the piece of furniture rack. So, I moved that and then I had my final outcome. And then I had to think about, okay, what do I put where? How do I put these things? And I just came up with some really good ideas. And I'm sure they, people have come up with them a thousand times before. I just, in my head, thought what would look good, I should say. So I bought the over the hanger, over the hanger, yeah, the over the closet hangers, so I could put necklaces on, so I could put um, bags on, 
and I think belts also. And then I found different things that I could put scarves on because, hi, sunshine. I bought her a toy. It's more like, uh, I don't know. She can sit in it if she wanted to, but not really. But maybe a smaller bird could, and it drives her nuts, so I'm going to take it out. Anyway, enough about sunshine. It's going to be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. You hear it? So then I got a coat rack, and I hung bags from it and hats. And then I got this great, like, tree-like Thing that's made to hang things on and I had all of the bras on and now I have all of the hats on and I switch it out and around the holidays I had ornaments on so it was just a lot of thinking a lot of here's the thing that I didn't do the way I should have though it worked it worked but it probably would have been a lot easier easier oh boy the Bronx easier, easier, if I would have measured every piece of space, the whole entire place, and then figured out racks, etc. Because what I did was, I was, listen, I'm a bargain shopper, right? So I was getting my racks and everything, and I'm not ashamed at closeout stores. So first I got them from Models that was closing in our area. And I thought they were going to be perfect and enough. It was four big racks, but the ones that have four, let me tell you, they took up way much, way too much space. I couldn't put anything underneath them if I wanted to because of the way they were. And I decided not to keep them. So I sold them because then I found better ones from J.C. Penney when they were closing. Good stores closing around here. And then I bought some other things from Pier 1 Imports when they were closing. And I did my best to get them at the best prices. And now even for outside, I have about 10 racks because... I bought them all and then I said, well, I'm going to sell them if I don't use them because I had to experiment with sizes of racks because I'm not the type of person who really knows how to say, okay, it's 10 by 80. What do I do? My sister is great at that. She was a property manager and she has the eye, not I. <laughs> I do not have the eye. So it took a lot. And I thank everyone who gives me praise. And I know there are a couple of you who feel overwhelmed too, because we're all different. And I love stores where I can look in every nook and cranny to find things. And you find that perfect thing where no one would look so I do my best to do that here, but I know it's, it's, you know, there are a few people out of, let's say a hundred people who have said something to me. There were two or three who thought it was, so, and that's okay. You know, we all have our own thing. And that's why on Saturdays I have clothes outside because then you're free to be outside. It's another, I'd say two to 300 more clothes now. And it's men's, women's, and children. So that, uh, that does the job outside. And then if people want to come inside, they're welcome to come inside because there's a lot more. So that was question number one. 